struggle. Not a lot of different um, feelings about you know the last game in terms of uh, how we played after watching the film. I think a lot better in the second half than the first. But I think the the question that um, I would ask is how much did the other team really stop us, um, and how much did we stop ourselves? Uh, whether it was a drop ball, a missed assignment. Um, you know, not getting the ball out of our hand where we need to, uh, giving up a play on defense, whether it's not the right run fit or gap fit or whatever. Uh, so these kind of execution things, I think, are really, really important, especially, you know, when the whole emphasis needs to be we need to play better over and over and over again, especially when you play, you know, better teams. And uh, I think we had some outstanding performances in the game. and. Uh, I think our team is making progress, um, but I think we need to continue to do that and continue to work as, you know, every week in the SEC, you, you got a real challenge and a real test, and that certainly won't be any different playing, you know, on the road this weekend against Arkansas, who um, I think has got a really, really good team. Uh, the quarterback is playing great for them. Uh, they're very well coached. Uh, they've got some really good skill players, wide receivers, a couple good running backs. Uh, they've got eight starters back on defense, and they're playing really well on defense. Um, Punter's done a great job for them all year long. So uh, this is a, a really strong opponent who's only lost one game this year and um, certainly has shown an ability to finish games uh, and win close games in the end. So. Um, we don't have any real injury problems. We've got a couple guys that will be out there in black shirts today, but um, our Darius Stewart will resume practice in the day, and um, we're hopeful that he'll be able to get through the week and make the kind of progress he needs to be able to contribute in this game. Um, really happy that Josh Jacobs got named SEC Freshman of the Week. Uh, I think it's a great honor for him, and I think he did a fantastic job in the game. How you as a coach would react if uh, players came to you and they were interested in some sort of a protest that players around the country have been showing this few past few weeks? Well, I would first of all listen to what the players had to say and really try to understand, you know, what their point uh, of what they want to do and respect their opinions and uh, what they need to do. Look, I've never been in a lot of these situations that uh, ha are occurring now. Uh, and uh, the only situation like that I was ever involved in was when I was a student at Kent State and, you know, the National Guard was there and uh, we had an unfortunate incident. So um, how people respond and how people react to that I think is an individual thing and I would do the best I could to try to understand um, why a, a player wanted to do that. Uh, I do think that everyone's entitled to individual differences and believing in what they um, want to believe in. I really do. Um, we have never used our team here I, to demonstrate that myself. You never heard me comment politically on anything. Uh, and I think it's, you know, we try to keep things to be team things and for guys to respect that part of what we do. Do you think it was important for Jeremy Pruitt to go out on his own as a defensive coordinator, and how, if at all, has he evolved since he was first on staff here till now? Well, I, I think anytime someone gains experience doing the job that they're now sort of uh, in charge of, uh, that knowledge and experience is always beneficial to someone, and I don't think there's any question about the fact that uh, being a coordinator someplace else away from here uh, probably gave Jeremy a lot of that experience, and uh, I think it helps him do a good job for us, and he's done a really good job for us so far this year, and uh, I want to continue to support him and help him do that. You, uh, you can kind of look at this from the NFL and the college perspective, but as far as evaluating quarterbacks, how hard is that compared to other positions? Well, I've commented on this in the past that I think quarterback is one of the most difficult positions to evaluate. 
I don't think it's hard to evaluate the physical skills that's required to play the position, but I think some of the most important things in playing quarterback is decision-making, judgment, timing, leadership, accuracy, um, under pressure, and those things are much more difficult to evaluate until a player is actually called upon to do that in your particular system, even in some cases. So this is probably why there's more mistakes made uh, on quarterbacks picked in the first round than anything else in the NFL. Um, and, you know, I think you have to have the right stuff to play the position. You're distributing the ball every play. Um, so, and that right stuff part of this requires physical ability, but it also uh, gets into sort of the mental makeup, uh, judgment, decision-making, processing information, making quick decisions that uh, go a long way to making a guy an effective quarterback. Thank you, Coach. Um, it may be an oversimplification to say that Arkansas is a team that likes to line up, run it, play smash mouth, whatever, but how do they test your defensive line and particularly your depth on the defensive line? Well, I think this team probably has demonstrated this year that they have the best one of the best balanced teams that we're going to play. I think they've running the ball for almost 200 yards a game and throwing it for over 200 yards a game. And I don't think they're one-dimensional at all. I think they're a very physical team, uh, and they're going to run the ball, and they're going to run it downhill, and they've got good backs and a good offensive line to do that. Uh, but I think their quarterback is playing extremely well. They've got great great play-action passes that go you know, with their um, running game, and they've made a lot of explosive plays this year you know, with their skill players. So. Uh, I think the combination of those two things is really what challenges the defense, uh, not only up front, uh, but also in the in the secondary. I know it was a small sample size, but how did Cooper Bateman look in that sort of backup quarterback role on Saturday? He did fine. Um, you know, he was only in there for one series, but uh, I thought he did a nice job of moving the team and executed well. You guys had Cam Sims named as one of the players to leave. What did you like about his performance on Saturday? I thought Cam was a little more aggressive in the game and certainly played physical in the game. And uh, we think Cam has played well all year long. But, um, you know, I think sometimes when you have an outstanding player like that, you always have high expectations for what he does. And uh, he certainly did a good job of sort of fulfilling those expectations in this last game. And. Uh, we were able to get some movement on the line of scrimmage and uh, have the kind of balance that we want to have on offense as well. You're in the middle with Alex. I just wanted to ask you, what do you see uh, from Tim you know, while he was serving his first half suspension and then afterwards in that second half? Well, I wasn't watching him. You know, I was watching the game um, in the first half, which I think is what I'm supposed to do. I didn't notice Tim at all. Um, but when he got his opportunity to play in the second half, I thought he played really, really well. So um, he was excited about having the opportunity. And um, hopefully with the other things that we have him do, uh, this will be a learning experience that will help him grow and develop um, habits that will be more beneficial to his future. Coach, you mentioned just a short time ago how important mental makeup is at the quarterback position. You've talked about how level-headed Jalen is. Was there a particular moment even before the season where you kind of realized he had that mental makeup? I don't think you really ever know for sure that a guy has that mental makeup until he sort of gets in there under fire uh, and see what kind of decisions he's going to make under fire. And I think the fact that Jalen fumbled the ball the first snap that he played as a college player and then came back and played pretty well in the first game and uh, went to Ole Miss and you know, got behind 24 to 3 or whatever the score was and sort of worked his way back in the game and played better as the game went on. Uh, I think even last week uh, we didn't get off to a very good start offensively in the first half and um, he, he was not particularly maybe on target uh, would be a good way to say it. but sort of rallied and, and played a lot better in the second half and made a lot better reads and a lot better throws. So uh, I think that those things he has demonstrated through his performance. It's not something that 
Uh, I, th I thought we, I thought he had the right disposition at, at the position, but you never know for sure until they get in the game and see how they respond um, when things go well and also when things don't go well. You've been complimentary of their quarterback. What have you seen from Austin Allen? What kind of quarterback is he? Well, he's a very good athlete, um, but I've been very, very impressed with his decision making, his judgment, and his ability to make. He's got a really good arm, and he's made a lot of throws to the field, throws downfield, um, executes their offense extremely well, uh, does a good job of faking on their play action passes. Um, so. He's got the highest completion percentage, I think, of any quarterback in, in the league and uh, probably one of the highest efficiency ratings, I would, I would guess, as well, even though I don't look at stats that much. But uh, he, he's a very effective and efficient player. About Eddie Jackson, his running style when he has the ball, what, what's it about his vision, the way he runs? It seems pretty smooth out there when he's got the ball. Eddie's a very instinctive player. Uh, he's a very instinctive guy in just about all aspects of how he plays and what he does. And I think when he's back there returning the ball uh, or he gets an interception, you know, he shows some of those same instinctive abilities to make the right cut, the right choice, the right decision, how to set up and use his blockers and, you know, those types of things. But um, the thing that I've, on the pump return part of it, that um, we have to do a better job of is we've got to get the ball fielded all the time. Uh, there's been too many balls that are fieldable that cost you too much field position, and regardless of who's back there, I think we need to do a better job of that. Uh, Eddie's always showing great judgment, you know, to get that part of it done. The, the number one thing on on punt return is possession of the ball. Um, if you can make a first down with the return, that's great. Change field position, and we want to make explosive plays on special teams, but um, we also don't want to give up field position. Uh, because we're not making good judgments and decisions about fielding the ball. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.